Time now is 918. Well, whether you like roughing it out or you're more interested in glamping, there are plenty of ways to enjoy the great outdoors around the tri-state. And if you're not an outdoor expert, Cincinnati Magazine has you covered. We have Lauren Fisher. She's the associate editor at the Cincinnati Magazine. You're here to talk about everything you need to know to go wild. <laughs> yes, everything you need to know and maybe a little bit more. Okay, so we were talking uh, during the break that we are like not the best. Well, I've only been camping twice. My first time was a huge disaster. Uh, so tell us a little bit about what we should know when camping. Sure. So this issue, I think, is perfect for people, maybe a little bit like you and me, <laughs> who are interested in camping, but we don't really know where to get started. So uh, we talked to the experts. We got some good tips. Cincinnati is actually a really fantastic place for camping. There are some oh. spots, you know, 15 minutes away. You've got Red River Gorge and Hawking Hills. Um, so this issue has so many great tips for people who just want to get started, kind of ease your way into camping. And for those who aren't like camping experts like myself, uh, glamping, right, is another term we like to use. Tell us a little bit about glamping. Absolutely. So, I mean, if you can't already tell, glamping is kind of a portmanteau of glamorous camping. Um, it's not for people who like to rough it. It's for people who, you know, want to sleep in, in a bed rather than on the ground. You know, you want to have a bathroom, you want to have access to some facilities, yeah. um, you know, maybe an, a nice fire already built for you. So there are actually three local companies around here that we found who will go out and set up glamp sites for you. Um, so they do all the work. All you have to do is show up. Are you serious? I'm serious. It's oh amazing. I know what I'm doing this fall. Right? I mean, if it's going to be like that, I'm all in. Right? So how is it different when you're camping, maybe alone or with, with some adults rather than being with kids? Being with kids, it, it kind of sounds like a dream, but it can turn into a little <laughs> bit of a nightmare. Luckily, one of our writers is actually a, a mom of three kids, um, and she's an avid camper. So she gave us some fantastic tips about how important it is to keep your kids involved. You know, kids love to feel like they're a part of something. So her best tips for us were to plan in advance, keep it close, and make sure that you've got the kids involved. You know, have them help out with pitching the tent, have them go out and collect some firewood. Just yeah. do little little things like that that are easy for them, but can you know really make them feel like they're involved in the camping process. Any tips about the kind of RV we should get or anything like that? RVs, you know, it's funny because you would think those are such like a 70s, 80s thing, but they're right. making this like huge resurgence now, yeah. partially due to the pandemic. Um, so we talked to some experts at a local RV outfitter, um, and one of the best tips they gave us was to rent before you buy. You can actually rent an RV for just a weekend, maybe a week or so, take it on a trip, test it out, see if you like it and if RVs are right for you before you make that big investment. Wow, and if we want to learn more about camping or glamping, uh, this issue will be out next month, right? This month, actually. Is this month? Yeah, it okay. is on shelves now, and you can always check us out at CincinnatiMagazine.com. 